everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about Problem Set 7, Response Validation of CS50 Introduction to Programming with Pipe. If you would like to have 24-7 support by uh, Telegram Group and two hours of group coaching every week for only $10, check the description below. And we would like to emphasize that this video solution is made for those who have already completed the assignment and want to have an alternative view about the problem. We totally disencourage plagiarism. So basically, in this response validation, we're not going to work with regular expressions, all right? This is the only pro problem that we have in here, that we're going to work with something that we already know, that it's importing other libraries to validate the email for us, okay? So kind of in here, it explains how can we validate an email using regular expressions. So here we have this uh, box that is explaining us to do this, okay? But in our case, we're going to use one or we can use one one uh, library, all right? Here they give us two libraries to work, but I'm gonna work with only one, okay? And we just need to take a look at the documentation. This is fine. So what is gonna happen? We're gonna uh, run our file and we're gonna ask for an email address, okay? Then we're going to check if this email address is valid or not. This is our only task in here, okay? So how can we do this? Let's take a look and this validator collection, okay? Uh, this validator collection library. Basically, we have to install, okay? So in your terminal, you're gonna run pip install validator collection, all right? And then we can start working. So let's see here the documentation that CS50 gave, okay? I'm, I'm clicking this hyperlink here. So basically, what do we have in this file? We have to import from validator collection, import validators, checkers, and errors. In our case, we just need the validators, all right? And we're going to get the email address using this validators.email. This validators.email, we're gonna try, okay? We're gonna try to use this validators email. And if we get an exception, this means that this value does not, this email is not valid, all right? And if we're able to do the try with success, this means that the email is valid. Okay, so this is basically what we're gonna do. We're just gonna implement the logic that we have from the previous lectures. Okay, so I'm gonna import this line here. Okay, in here. And what are we gonna do? We're going to ask the user for an email address. Okay, so email address. To ask the user for an email address, we're gonna use the regular input like we normally have. Okay, so input. And here the message will be this one that we are seeing in here. What's your email address? Okay, so what's your email address? So we're gonna ask the user for this, okay? And we're gonna do this try and accept. We're gonna try to validate the email. If we're able, to, if we're successful in here, we're gonna print valid. If we go to the accept block, this means that it's invalid, okay? So we're gonna do exactly this, so try. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna check if email is valid. I'm gonna create a variable called email is valid, okay? And we're gonna use this validators. So how are we gonna do? Here, if you take a look, we have to use this function, evalidators.email, and inside the parentheses, we're gonna pass the email that we wanna check, all right? The value of email address will now be test underscore dom at domain dot dev, okay? So we're gonna pass inside the parentheses of this validators.email, the email address we wanna check. Okay, so this, and what is the email address we want to check? The variable email address. Okay, we're gonna try. If this try block is successful, we're gonna print valid. Okay, and if we go to an accept block for some, for any case, this means that this email is invalid. Okay, so let's try it out. If we do python response.py, and I put here, for example, my, my email, giovannasp at dorscodingschool.com and this will give me valid because it's a it's an email that exists. But for example, if I put something else, if I just put my name, this is not a valid email, right? And here we're receiving the word invalid. So now let's check the, let's do check 50 and see if we got all green. So like we can see in here, the check 50 gave us all green, so this means that we finished the code, all right? If you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, send here on the comment, or if you want to have 24-7 uh, help 
support from a programming expert, by Telegram and two hours weekly of group coaching by Zoom. You can check the description below where you can become one of our students for only $10. All right, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.